In this tutorial, I'm introducing you to the interface of the Tombio Productivity Tools Map Mashup tool. I click that, it opens in the usual place, docked on the right hand side of the map. You remember sometimes you have to refresh this by minimizing and then clicking to enlarge it again. So we have the major interface elements here. Now, the most important ones really are these here. This is where we can uh, manage the WLD files that we created uh, in a couple of tutorials ago. So this edit box here points to a folder where we keep those WLD files and any WLD files in that folder populate this list here. And, now, and we can then use those to really quickly register raster images. So you can change the, you can put that folder for the um, WLD files anywhere you like on your file system, and you just navigate to it here and set it up. There's also an image folder. You need a temporary folder or any folder to to store the temporary uh, map images as they're created, and you set that up here. Now, as you can see, there's no um, BSBI hectad um, element in that list yet, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if I minimise um, QGIS and we'll have a look at this folder here. Over here this is the folder that we were pointing to and there are the WLD files in that folder and it's their names minus the WLD extension that you can see in the drop down list. And if you cast your mind back to a couple of demos ago we created a WLD file for a fly orchid map from the, the BSBI hectad maps. And so I'm going to copy that and pop it into this folder here and rename it to something general BSBI hectad. And if we go back to QGIS now, and if I use this button to refresh my list, you'll see it now appears in that list and it's there for me to use with any BSBI hectad map. To show you how quick that can be, let's go to the BSBI website for those hectad maps, look at one. I'm going to look at this one, Abies Alba. I'm going to right click the mouse over the image and copy it. That copies it into the clipboard. Now I simply go back to QGIS and making sure that this WLD file is selected here. I simply click there, OK the uh, coordinate reference system, and the map appears. Let me just put it underneath the vice county boundaries so you can be satisfied that it is correctly registered. So it took us quite a long time, you remember, to do that for the Fly Orchid file, um, but we've done it really quickly because we're reusing the WLD file, and that's the really um, a tricky bit. Now, you'll also remember that it we sort of did a longhand method for setting the transparency colours so we could see, see stuff underneath, and I want to show you how quickly that can be done as well. So I'm going to put on um, an OS backdrop to this map. You won't see it when it appears because it's underneath the white areas of the BSBI hectad map. It's taking a little while to refresh. Okay, that's done. But if I use this button now here to delete the BSBI hectad map, that this deletes the last mashup map that we created, you'll see the um, OS backdrop underneath. Now I'm going to redo the hectad map now, but I'm going to set a transparent background colour. Now if you remember that on the um, BSBI map, that background colour is white. So that's going to be the transparent colour. And now if I use the button, in it comes with the background already transparent. Let's delete that one and go and do another one so you can see how quick this is. So another map from BSBI, Abies Conkler, white fur. Right click, copy into the clipboard, bring up QGIS. I've got the right world file selected, I've got the transparency stuff selected and I just click that button, OK, the CRS, and in it goes. So you can see uh, how quick this stuff is. 
this works similarly. You can set the global transparency of the map. You saw, saw me doing that for an individual layer before, but you can do it on creation using that. This button here lets us name the layer. You can see that the layer is coming through with just with the default BSBI hectad here. But if we, let's delete that one and redo it. Uh, it was called, what was it, Abyss Concolor, something like that. Concolor. Do it again. And now you can see the layer is created with a meaningful, more meaningful name. And that's it. Those are the, the very, a very simple introduction to the map mashup tool. This button here, if you've got more than one layer present, will delete them all, just like in the other tools. And in the next demo, you'll see how powerful this can be when you actually mash uh, maps up together from different sources and, and look at the information together.